Yo, what is happening? My name is Abdi, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 19, and today we are going to be continuing progress on this item storage. If you guys will remember, last episode we built this entire building, and in this video we are going to be converting this empty, depressing building into a building completely filled with items. It's gonna look epic. Because if you look, it is completely empty and guys we have no shortage of items to fill it with you can see that we got this massive pile of Thanksgiving items and of course all of our stock up with the pixelated gifts over here and of course a massive mess over here that we still need to clean up things are just falling out of the trucks more and more as days go by and finally this massive lag machine right over here where a ton of items are stacked on top of of each other they have no shelves underneath them which just causes a ton of lag but yeah with that said let's get straight into this video Alrighty, so to start off, I'm going to be doing some additions to the building. As you can see, we have this door well, which is completely unfinished. We want to make this into a nice little archway that leads straight into the door up here. And of course, the most glaring issue is the fact that we have no floor down here and it just drops straight down to the ground over here and the sidewalk, which is no good. We want an actual floor. So to fix this, we're we're going to start off with some smooth walls. We're basically just going to take smooth walls all the way up on both sides. And then we're going to be filling these in with this awesome blue spruce wood. Now it looks like I've just run out, so I'm going to get a piece of blue spruce running through the system. Just like that, and that should start processing out. Now while we're waiting for that to happen, I guess we should probably scout out what other blueprints we're gonna need. And I actually kind of want to build out a little archway over here. And for that, I'm going to need a couple of posts. And we're gonna be filling these in with birch wood, by the way, which we have a ton of right here. So we're just gonna place a couple of pieces of birch wood right here. And you can see that just kind of adds a little bit of depth. And now what we got to do is something very similar to the archway that we built. Uh, I think it was for these. We're basically going to be taking a couple of tiny floors. And then we're also going to be using some 1 slash 2 by 1 wedges. And we're just going to place those in like that. And then we're just going to place one tiny floor on that side. And then another on the other side. An upside down 2 slash 1 by 1 wedge right there and one placed like this. And you can see that that kind of makes a quick and easy archway. Now we just got to do the same thing on the other side so it doesn't look so blocky. And just like that, that is the archway complete and yeah, that is adding a lot more character to the building. Now that we've built out that little archway, all of this blue spruce has made its way over here so we can continue building the door well. So I think we're going to have to cap it off with some of these short smooth walls and then we're just going to do the same thing with the skinny smooth walls. Just a thinner version and then some skinny smooth short walls like so. And that will pretty much do it. Now we just gotta fill them all in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now what we gotta do is I'm thinking just a roof to this thing. Oh, actually we might need to extend it up a little bit more because that is not going to actually reach. So since it was kind of a struggle to fill in those blueprints, I'm going to place these down over here. And I think we only need two of those and then two of these smooth wall stubs. And now we're just gonna fill those in. Just like so. What the heck is happening to that piece? Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and place in these blueprints there we go that is the final one and now we just gotta cap it off so i'm just going to place in one of these and then we can kind of see what blueprints we need from there okay so it seems like we're gonna need a short smooth wall stub right there and then skinny smooth wall equivalents so that'll be a sm skinny smooth wall right there and a smooth wall stub and now we'll just place those in and we will have this door well complete 
just like that that is looking awesome especially from the outside you can see that it is no longer so unfinished and now all we gotta do is we gotta go ahead and grab some doors and place them in we're just going to do a couple of basic doors and we're going to fill those in with some of this walnut wood that is looking super awesome and I'm kind of not sure what we're gonna do for the upper bits probably just more of these doors to be honest let's just fill those in and place some in like so okay so far so good that looks like a very very tall door and now for the final little bit I think we're going to just place in a skinny smooth wall like so and I'm thinking I'm actually going to do it out of koa wood so we're gonna need to grab some koa wood I think we don't have any that is ready to use and we're actually going to be doing this out of koa wood, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some from the system. Looks like we got a little bit over here, and I still haven't wired that up, so we're going to have to just grab it by hand. Okay, that should definitely be enough. We only needed a few pieces anyways, and let's get back to building. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this piece in. And this should go right up here, and I think we might actually be one short smooth wall short. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab another one real quick, and I'll just go ahead and place that in like so. I don't know, does that look weird? I don't know, it, it's not that bad. I think if we put a little bit more, let, let's see. Let's actually open these, and we might actually be able to build inside of them let's try this out if we place that in and then probably a short smooth wall stub like so and then we just place this in right here can we actually build where those doors are open or is it not gonna let us Ooh, it's kind of letting me okay that's awesome we'll just place that in right there and then a smooth wall stub right there and then the tricky part is putting in a smooth wall I don't know if this is actually gonna work probably not we're gonna have to rotate it in okay watch and learn uh I don't know what's happening uh the doors are attaching okay um we're gonna try that again uh let's let's put this over here and rotate uh uh there we go I did it awesome and now we can close this and look at that that's looking awesome okay you can't tell me that doesn't look really cool and it's done with no glitching that is awesome alrighty guys next up we gotta build a floor to this thing now we're gonna have a particularly high floor right here and I'm just going to start off by placing in some large floors because I think that is the best way to just build just get in the large floors first and then figure out everything else Else after now we just fill everything in with all of these special blueprints and just like that I have filled in the entire area with floors and now I just gotta fill those all in with walnut wood alrighty guys we are running a little bit low on walnut wood I don't know if we have more actually I did see some in the wood storage but it is getting a little bit hard to see in this building I wonder if we should go grab some work lights or we could maybe steal some from from over there I don't know I'm just gonna go grab some more because I kind of want to make sure that the base remains lit as always I'm just procrastinating building more permanent solutions to lighting anyways four work lights should be good let's just go ahead and set these up in the building much better I can actually see what I'm doing ah that's so much better okay that is probably good enough for now now I'm just going to go ahead and grab some walnut wood we have a bunch over here, so I'm not really worrying about that. That should be enough to finish at least that section of the floor, although we're going to be building more floor after this. So we're going to have to see if that's going to be enough. Okay, yeah, that was not enough wood to fill in all of the blueprints. We're going to have to go ahead and process some more out. Luckily, we have this little piece, so I can just set that on the conveyor, and that should process out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in this little area with floors and while we're waiting for that to process out I'm actually gonna get my truck right under the conveyor so when the wood does start streaming in I can easily move it and yeah let's just fill in the rest of this floor over here just like that we are done 
Okay, I've also just realized that we are going to also need some more koa wood, so I'll get that running as well. And let's just bring this truck over here so that we can quickly go ahead and fill in the other blueprints while we're waiting for that. Okay, I hear it running now, so we probably ought to hurry and get this truck right under the conveyor as quick as possible. We just got to get all of these over here so that we can easily use them. But yeah, now we got to get the truck underneath that conveyor. Oh, 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 are we going to make it? No, we're not. Okay. We, we missed one. Okay, but anyways, we can go ahead and fill in all of these. We just need three more of these blueprints to be filled in, and we are going to be done with this floor, and we're also going to put in a floor right here. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. Okay, looks like all of that koa wood is done processing out, so now we can go ahead and use it. Real quick, though, I did want to fill in the rest of the floor. One there, and one final one, and that is done. So yeah, that was looking so awesome. We got a nice floor in here. That is looking infinitely better than it was just a few minutes ago. Alrighty guys, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place in a short smooth wall right there. And then I'm basically just going to place short smooth walls all the way down in a staircase pattern. Just like that. That is looking awesome. Now we just gotta fill that all in with koa wood. And just like that, the staircase is done. That is looking awesome. Now I basically want this entire back wall to be completely filled with shelves. So I'm just going to place in some skinny smooth walls like so and just kind of make some shelving units. That is looking really cool. Now we're just going to fill that all in. And yeah, it looks like we are going to run out of koa wood in a second. So uh, yeah, I'll get some running through the system real quick. Alrighty guys, this is the last piece of koa wood and we are almost finished with the shelves right here. We just got one more and then I guess we could put in some posts right here and we could put in even more shelves on the sides like so. Oh, that's actually perfect. That is a perfect fit right there. Okay, I actually really like that a lot. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm actually thinking we might want to move this entire staircase over like one stud so that we can actually fit in some more shelves right where it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, that should be a little bit more room. We're going to fix that little thing. I just don't know what we're gonna be doing right there for now. Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to basically put in shelves right here as well. Alrighty guys now I'm just gonna fill these all in with koa wood like the other ones more koa wood is needed as always alrighty guys that is almost the entire shelf done although as always we are one blueprint short and also as always looks like there is a little bit of a blockage right here but yeah I guess we can just go ahead and put in some shelves on this wall as well Alrighty guys, these shelves are done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same on this side, although it's gonna be a little bit hard to get to the items over here. Uh, that Hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. I guess we could have this little area reserved for larger items. I'm trying to think anything that we have that is large enough. I, I mean, I guess we have the gift of pixelation that would probably fit in there pretty well. So on second thought, I'm just going to shorten this with some short smooth walls over here so that we have a little bit more space to wiggle the paintings I assume we're going to be putting in here in there and if that is the case i guess i'll just go ahead and put in some smooth walls back here i guess i'll just fill them with oak because that's what i have on hand and now let's just place in a couple of tiles stacked on top of each other right here and that should be a nice shelf now let's just go ahead and fill in all of those blueprints. And guys, I was actually considering the potential of putting in a conveyor right here so that we can actually just drop items onto it and then it can go straight to the shop because the shop is right over here. We could literally just knock out a few walls and then have a conveyor that goes straight to the shop so that we can make stocking the shop even easier. We just take all of the items from the item storage and just pack up 
come onto the conveyor and it just takes them straight to the shop that would be awesome okay we're totally doing that so if we're gonna do that we're gonna need a bunch of straight conveyors so I'm gonna go ahead and take this truck and drop off all of this wood right next to the building and then I'm gonna respawn the truck and all of that wood will fall right there and we can go ahead and grab some conveyors from what are us so in theory, we shouldn't need too many of these straight conveyors, but I'm not going to be particularly shy with them. Let's go ahead and buy these two. And man, does Lumberland look majestic right now. Look at that. That is one screenshot right there. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, anyways, back to conveyor buying. Alrighty, that is another two, and I think I'll just get maybe like four more after this. I don't think we'll need that much, but I want to be at least a little safe, because I don't really want to have to go back to What Are Us if I don't have to. So yeah, I'll just get two more of these, and then maybe a funnel conveyor might be nice. I don't know what my plans really are. I just thought it would be really cool to put a conveyor system going through the buildings. So we'll make it up as we go. Alrighty, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and get this all back to the base. And the base is looking so so cool right now look at that that is so cool I think it's just the map for whatever reason the map just looks very majestic right now so it's making the whole base look amazing okay anyways let's go ahead and get all of these conveyors up here and just like that that is the last conveyor and now we just gotta go ahead and put in the system Alrighty guys, so let's start off by knocking out the wall right here. So I'm just going to take some of these out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and knock out the walls for the shop as well. Kind of hard to reach right there. Okay, so I'll take out that wall. And then if I can reach this one, also maybe that one as well. We'll just go with that for now. And yeah, now let's go ahead and see how these conveyors are going to fit in. So I'll place that right there and let's just continue this line all the way over to the shop. Okay, uh, I've kind of decided that I'm going to have to take out these shelves right here now. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'll just clear off these shelves as much as I can. And there we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place these tables over there. It's it's a mess right now. It, stick with me, guys. It's going to get better. I just have to get everything put together first. Alrighty, guys. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this funnel conveyor and cap it off right there. It looks like we have one extra conveyor that we didn't end up using. But yeah, that should be working. So let's go ahead and test out this new item transportation system. Let's just put an item in there and that should make its way right over to the shop so we can just have a bunch of things on the shelves we can throw items onto the conveyors and it will go straight to the shop and then we can go into the shop and we can organize them so yeah that is looking awesome and now I just have to make this look good because this looks awful and we have a bunch of walls that are just out of place and I'm also going to have to put in some new walls over here so I think let's go ahead and do that right now so yeah we're just going to have some of these corrugated stubs right here and we're also going to need to do some mega repairs to the shop because, yeah, this is, we took out a massive wall. Looks like we got a fan right here. USU Aereo Pro YT. What's up, bro? Anyways, let's go ahead and figure out what we got to do. So we're going to need some oak wood, which luckily we have right here. So let's go ahead and place in a couple of corrugated walls. And we're also going to need a short, smooth wall for repairing the framing right down here so let's go ahead and place that in right there and we can go ahead and repair this over here as well just make sure that it's nice and seamless there we go that should be good enough for the reparations for this building i'm surprised that it was that easy but for this building over here, the shop is going to take a little bit more reparations. We're going to have to do something special for the walls because it's a bit off. Before there was these corrugated walls right here. But for this, we don't have any corrugated walls that are that thin. So we're going to have to use posts. 
I'm not sure if we really have any elm wood as it stands. Yeah, we don't have any elm wood, so we're gonna have to go grab some of that. Luckily, there is a tree right over here. So yeah, I'm just gonna get, I think we only need one piece of this elm tree and that should be sufficient. We could even go with one of these small pieces because we really don't need much. We just need to repair a few walls. I'll just take a couple just in case, but I really don't think we'll need that much. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this into the system. And now we just wait for these to get all the way up there. And as always, there was a blockage right here, so nothing actually made it. Dang it. Okay, let's let's fix that real quick. Okay, now we should be getting some wood down, so let's go ahead and destroy some of these walls that we don't need anymore. Just like that, everything is gone, that is great, and now we just gotta figure out what we're doing for this. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to place down a couple of posts for that little gap over there, because there's no corrugated walls that can really fill that gap. And then for the other side, we're going to have to do something a little bit more complicated because the corrugated wall doesn't quite fit. It is one stud short from fitting. So we're going to have to do something a little bit more complicated. We're going to get a short corrugated wall and where it's going to stack twice. So we're going to put in two like that and then a corrugated wall stub and then also some more posts because it's going to be one unit short by that point alrighty let's go ahead and put in the walls just like that and now we can just put in the posts and we will be done there we go okay so now we have a opening that goes from this building over to the shop and of course we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of cover work to make it not as obvious that there's a conveyor right here because uh, it kind of looks a little bit jarring that there's a hole in the side of the building so we'll fix that and yeah now we just gotta figure out what we're going to do we need a platform over here so we can walk right up to the conveyors and then I think for the next floor we're gonna put in a little bit of a hole right here so we can just throw all of the items down into the hole and then they will go right onto the conveyors and right to the shop okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to replace this short smooth wall with a regular smooth wall like so and then it looks like we'll need a short smooth wall right there so we can make it all the way to the conveyor and then we're just gonna go ahead and fill these in just like that and now I'll just take this short smooth wall and place it in like that and that should do it I feel like we're gonna want a platform that goes all the way over to the end of the conveyor so I'll just put in another couple of those and we can fill those in again I'm using these short smooth walls instead of the regular smooth walls because I want the grain to match so yeah there we go we've done it and right now I am very anxious to actually start getting items onto these shelves because there's a ton of empty shelves and I just want to get items onto them, especially since there is such a mess on the base. First of all, we have this truck full of pixelated gifts and we just built that shelf for the pixelated gifts, so I'm a little bit anxious to see if that's going to work out. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here just like that. That's looking really good. It fits in perfectly. I love the pixelated gifts because they are perfectly four studs tall. So you can just fit them in like this and they just work. And it looks like we can fit in three before we run out of space. And now we can put in another three on top of that. And then we'll be out of space on this shelf. Because yeah, we have a ton of pixelated gifts. But yeah, there we go. That is the pixelated gifts in there. Okay, right now the server is like crazy laggy. I can't even move my <laughs> blueprint much. Look at that. That is terrible. Alrighty guys, that took way too long, but I did get those in. Oh my gosh, the lag is insane. What the heck? Okay, items are not even like staying where they should be. Oh my gosh, <laughs> why can't I? I just want to place this in. wonder what my ping is. wonder if it's a ping issue or if it's like... I don't know. Okay, yeah, that that is not going... Okay, no matter how much I try to move this gift, it will just go right back to where it was. Something weird is happening. Okay, carefully place that in and hope that it doesn't... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. I'm going to just fill in blueprints right now. This is ridiculous. Okay, stay, stay. 
Why? Okay, okay, I, I give up. This server is just freaking not working. I, who, who's, whose base is, like, causing so much lag? I'm gonna look around. Okay, yeah, I see no base that should be causing that much lag. Why is there so much lag in this server? Okay, guys, I gave up. I <laughs> could not stand all that lag, so I moved to a different server, and now we can actually put the items where they need to go. So, yeah, there we go. We actually got this shelf done. Now, we can go ahead and put in these over here. Alrighty guys, now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in those. And now we can put in a final row of pixelated gifts, although I did want to kind of fix this back wall a little bit. So let's go ahead and get a short smooth wall stub and fill it with oak wood and let's go ahead and place that in right over here like so if we can fit that in. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we can put in three more pixelated gifts and we will be out of space. Okay, there's one, there's two, and here is three. Okay, now our pixelated rack is done. We got the pixelated gifts in there, and honestly, it looks very seamless like that. It looks like it's almost part of the building, but no, these are actual gifts right here. Okay, guys, so next step is to put in the second floor, but to be honest, I want to be able to get all of the items in the shelves on the back wall before I put in the staircase for that, and I kind of need the staircase there so I can know where the hole cutout should be for the floor, so I figured I should probably start by stocking up these shelves before I actually put in the second floor, so yeah, um, I'm thinking what I could put in there kind of the easiest option right now is to grab some of these over here I feel like the most expensive ones and thus the ones that I want to get on the shelves the most are these ones over here because these were a little bit more expensive and thus they're probably more valuable and probably more worth getting on the shelves sooner and I just totally messed that up one second because yeah I feel like Having all of the items in the trucks, they're much more likely to get glitched out, especially out in the open like this, so I'm thinking I'm going to get these out on the shelves as soon as possible. Just go ahead and cut down this tree, it's getting in my way. Okay, so I'm gonna drive this, I, I just dropped one, I'm gonna drive this over to the building, and it looks like we have this truck, which is a little bit in the way now, so let me just go ahead and move that for now. We are going to have to find more places for pixelated gifts, but a little bit later, I think. Okay, now all I gotta do is I gotta get all of these up to this area and put them each on the shelves individually. So yeah, this is going to be a time-consuming process, but we'll get it done. Alrighty guys, this is one shelf done and we just basically have to do that for this entire back wall. And hopefully that'll make it so when we put in the actual staircase right here, uh, we won't have to like wiggle the gifts in very strangely like over here we're gonna have to take the gifts and kind of like wiggle them in over here and it's gonna be very difficult so I want to get those gifts in before we do that alrighty guys we are down to the last shelves right now this is uh, looking awesome so far there is a little bit of a space right here that I can't really fit any other gifts in same with this side but I think it's not that big of a deal it doesn't look that bad uh, looks like this person wants to potentially help me which would definitely speed up the process let's just give him grab objects and hopefully that will help cool cool this is going a lot faster looks like another person is like ooh, ooh I can help too okay let's do that as well Okay guys, so I've decided to make it a little bit more symmetrical by making a gap on both sides in the middle and then having the big gap on both sides right here. Hopefully that'll make it look a little bit better. And these guys are helping me to put all of these on these shelves so it is going a lot faster. Um, but I think we're just about out of them. Yeah, we have one left and this one is attached to the truck so it won't even, it won't even move. You see, I can literally just pick up the freaking truck because it's attached to the truck <laughs> oh okay so the the way that you get this fixed is uh, uh um 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 <laughs> uh oh <laughs> help help 
Get me out of this situation. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate the truck. Oh 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 my gosh. Okay. Uh anyways, you pretty much just get the truck off of the base like this. And then you just leave it there, and then when you reload, only the gift will save, and the truck won't because it's mostly off of the base. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of these green gifts of stripes because they're pretty similar to the other green gifts. And I think I'm going to use these to kind of fill up the shelves as well. If they'll fit on the shelves, yes they will. Alrighty guys, that is looking very nice. That is all of our ball gifts and all of our candy cane stripe gifts. And yeah, that looks really, really good to be honest. That is looking better than I thought it would. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a staircase right here and then we can start working on the second floor. Now for the second floor, I was thinking that it would be cool to put in some framing like this with birch wood just to kind of help support the floor underneath. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab some birch wood and fill this in. No, 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 that's blue spruce, that's blue spruce, that's blue spruce. Uh, blue spruce and birch look so similar, it's very hard not to get them mixed up. Let me get some more birch wood going through the system if we have any. Yeah, we have a little bit. That's that's pretty handy to have just a little bit of birch wood. Okay, let's get that going through the system. And then in terms of for the floor, we're also going to need some walnut wood. And I've just realized we actually have a ton of these skinny smooth walls of birch right outside. So we don't even need to really start filling those in. Let's actually destroy these because we can just use these out here. <laughs> Looks like there is a piece of birch wood actually right here, so that is perfect. But this one over here is blue spruce. And we have some birch wood going through the system, so we can just go ahead and use this. And just like that, we have finished pretty much the framing that I think that we are going to do. Now I'm just going to build in a staircase and I kind of want to get the floor started at least so I know where the staircase should go. So let's just go ahead and place in some large floors and fill them in with of course the same wood that we used for the other floors which is of course walnut wood and now we're just going to place in a couple of those. For this guy helping I'm just going to let him have some of this spook wood. He really wants this spook wood and he doesn't have much money so I'm just going to let him have it just as a thank you for helping. Alright guys now I just gotta figure out where I want the staircase to start and I'm thinking we want a little bit of space probably like right here is probably a good place to start it. And we're just going to follow this up all the way. And just like that, we got ourselves a staircase, which is a little bit hard to see, actually. Let's go ahead and get some of these work lights to actually shine on what we're doing right here. So yeah, you can see we got a nice staircase. We're going to fill this all in with koa wood, so I'm going to start. Alrighty, this is the last piece, and just like that, we got ourselves an epic staircase that goes straight up over here to the second floor. And now what we got to do is we got to continue out this floor all the way way and to do that we're going to need some walnut wood which I think we are completely out of let me quickly check if we have any in the storage but I think we used the last of it yep there is none so we're gonna have to go and grab some alrighty so we are across the bridge and now we just gotta select a nice tree I'm thinking this one right here let's go ahead and destroy it with this gingerbread axe from a crazy distance because this is such a cool axe Alrighty, let's just get a few of these pieces in our truck and we will be good to go. Alrighty, we got ourselves some walnut wood. Now I'm just going to go ahead and unload all of this stuff into the system. And I'm not going to use all of it for the build. We really only need a little bit. So maybe like a couple of pieces will go into the chopper system and then the rest will go just into this pile of nothingness. It's just a massive mess over here. I'm also going to chop this into smaller pieces because that's definitely going to cause a jam if I don't. And yeah, there we go. We got a bunch of pieces. That is looking awesome. Now we just gotta make sure that none of these pieces cause any jams, which of course this one immediately does. Okay guys, we got this line of the floor done. 
We just got to figure out what we're doing for this side because that's going to be pretty tricky. And then just fill in the rest of the floor and we will be done with the floor. This is getting exciting. It looks like Leem and Truck Guy are down there organizing my wood, which is super nice. So yeah, looks like we are going to need a smooth wall and a skinny smooth wall. So let's just go ahead and place those down here. So yeah, skinny smooth wall can go right there, which is super nice. And it looks like that's actually probably going to be perfect for one of these. Yes. Okay, so a short smooth wall, let's just go ahead and place that down there and fill that in. And we can go ahead and fill in some more gaps over here. So right here we got this gap, which now all we need is a skinny smooth wall to fix. Okay guys, I'm just going to place in a short smooth wall right there. And then it looks like we're going to definitely need to use some tiny floors, unfortunately, to fill in the remaining gaps. I'll try to minimize the amount of that that we have to do. Okay, it looks like it is getting pretty dark in this room. We're gonna need to get some lighting over here. I think I have this work light, which isn't really doing much, so let's go ahead and take this up here. And yeah, that is much better. We can actually see what we're doing. So yeah, basically, I'm going to have a smooth wall right here, and then we just gotta fill in that gap, that gap, and then we have a few tiny floor blueprints that we need to place in over here and there. I'll just get some tiny floor blueprints just placed down because I know we're going to need them. And now we can just place those through the windows, which is very nice. And now I'm just going to fill in all of these tiny floor gaps right here. Just like that. Super nice. Place that in right there. And then the short smooth wall. And it looks like we are going to need a small floor right here. And then three more of these. So let's just place in three of those. And then a small floor. And that should actually be all of the structures that we need for the floor. Which is super perfect because we only have one remaining. So we actually got the perfect amount of wood almost. Which is super, super nice. Okay guys, this is the last tiny floor and we will be done with this floor. We are done! Amazing! Okay, uh, I don't know why that's there. I think I accidentally placed that and then couldn't get up to it because I couldn't reach. Okay guys, the next task, which I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to complete because it is turning night, but we actually need some glass in these windows. Because as you can see, there is no glass in them, which means someone can come up in the shop and they can, uh, if they're not terrible at parkour like me. One second, guys. If someone is actually good at parkour, they could get up to the shop like so and then jump through the windows and then they could glitch out all of these items. I want it to be relatively sealed off when I close these doors so no one can get into the building. I guess I can probably figure out what we're going to do for this. We can probably put in some doors right here on both sides so that no one can get into the buildings. Because right now you could probably definitely get into the buildings through just getting onto the straight conveyor. I guess you could drop down from the roof of the shop and get straight into here So yeah, right now I would get some glass panes, but I think it's actually night now Yeah, you can see the the moon is up which means that fancy furnishings is closed So while we're waiting for that, I guess we can put in some more shelves So for that we're just going to need an absolute ton of skinny smooth walls filled with koa wood so i'll just get those filled in real quick and yeah guys you can see how cool the floor looks from below as a ceiling the framing with the birch wood is just making it look really really cool i've actually kind of forgotten about how we were going to have a hole right here that we could just drop things through i totally forgot about that um we're gonna have to put that in huh um, oh, actually, one of the helpers actually accidentally filled in one of these skinny smooth walls with walnut wood, which we can actually totally use for this. We're just going to place it in right there, and that should make the hole perfectly aligned with the conveyor. Yeah, that looks like it, it is actually perfect, so that is nice. I'm going to put in a door right here. Um, that should hopefully stop me from accidentally falling through. Uh, there's still going to be some gaps on either side, but we can just move that. We can just open that and we can drop things through. And when it's closed, I'm not going to fall through. 
So yeah, obviously over here we're going to need to put in all of these shelves. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do for the other walls. So yeah, that is the shelf right there, and that is looking pretty good. It's actually day now, so we can probably get our glass panes by now. Um, let's go ahead and see what this guy's done. Very, very nice. He has decided to organize all of this, and that's a lot better than it was. It was just an absolute mess before. Ooh, it, it looks like we actually have a lot more of this wood than I thought. Oh, he's actually cleared out this area. Oh, that's sick. Speaking of this area, I think we can definitely destroy these steep stairs stairs by now these large floors might actually come in handy for extending the sidewalk so I'll place those over there but yeah in terms of these steep stairs we definitely don't need these anymore I'm just gonna destroy all of them alrighty guys now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of these with posts right here because we need a bunch of posts to fill in those little gaps so we can clear the corner and then once we've done that we will have a clear truck and that will mean that I I can take this over to fancy furnishings so we can get some glass panes we're just going to need the regular glass panes because that is the size of those and yeah that's going to take a lot of glass panes so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my strategy so basically my strategy is to get my truck inside of fancy furnishings and to do that I'm going to try to drive it in as much as I can and then I'll take a tiny floor blueprint and rotate it on the front of the truck like so and I can easily get my truck into fancy furnishings and now I just got to turn around so basically I can drive my truck backwards to the glass panes that I need which are these regular glass panes which are gonna cost me 220 each not too bad for what I'm going to be doing and now I'm just going to drive them over to the counter and I can buy them all at once so I just get them all and that basically saves me from doing the trip every single glass pane going back and forth for every single one of them it makes this process so much quicker and then once I'm done with buying them I just shove them outside of fancy furnishings like so and that way they're just out of the way and yeah basically just rinse and repeat this process for all of the glass panes basically makes the process so much faster it's actually starting to get dark out which means that fancy furnishings is gonna close soon which means that we're not gonna be able to get any more glass panes until morning okay yeah guys it is definitely getting dark but we're just gonna go ahead and get as many glass panes as we can before it actually closes actually that's a bad idea I've just realized we want to get the truck out which for that is easiest to do that when the doors are open so we actually gotta really hurry and get these outside and we gotta get our truck through the doors and we actually need to get it rotated before the doors close because otherwise we will glitch out so if we get our truck stuck right here and the doors close that would actually be really bad so I think it's best to just not push our luck and get our truck through the doors before they close okay guys so I have pretty much filled the truck entirely full of all of the glass panes that we needed to get into the truck and it looks like fancy furnishings has just closed so yeah now we just gotta get this all back to our base and ooh, I actually missed a ton underneath the truck alrighty I got all of these glass panes let's go ahead and get these back to the base and start filling in some windows so first and foremost I want to get these bottom windows filled in because these ones are the most likely to get broken into so I want to make sure that those are nice and closed up because like I said I don't want anyone getting into the item storage that is kind of the most mess upable place besides maybe the shop okay there we go that was the last window pane and as you can see we got these nice and filled in and now what we gotta do is we basically gotta fill in these ones over here because people might actually be able to get in through there although now that there's the shelves in there I feel like people are gonna definitely struggle to get in there but it's still a good thing to get in some windows panes right there so we don't want anyone inside of this building okay guys that side is done now I feel like hmm which side I feel like people might be able to jump over here maybe it's it's hard to say 
Um, I feel like the main target though would probably be the front just because that's the most obvious place. So I'll just go ahead and fill those in first. Okay, that is that side complete. And now we just have a few more, which I guess I'll just fill these in with. But yeah, now that we got the windows in on this side, I guess we might as well put in some shelves there. Well, for the pixelated gifts, I guess what I could do is I could just do a row of these just four studs tall like so on this side and we could just put in the pixelated gifts right here I think that could work very well I don't know what just happened to the work light uh the <laughs> leam is just taking it for a ride I guess <laughs> okay anyways um let's go ahead and I think we need to destroy this smooth wall it's not really ever going to be used I don't think Okay, so currently I'm feeling like we're going to need some more work lights because we're kind of a little bit low. We're trying to spread out the light too much. We need some more. So I'm just going to go ahead and get four more. I think that should be good. Okay, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and put one right there. And then we definitely need to light up the second floor real quick. Because right now it is entirely lit up with one work light. Okay, that is looking a lot better. And right now I'm a little bit unsure of what we need. Because right now we have a ton of these shelves that are too high. Which I think is the majority of the gifts that I have. But... I think it would be good to start stocking these shelves so that we actually know what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this truckload right here. Uh, there's a little bit of a mess right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up real quick. And just like that, we have completely filled our truck full of these gifts, these wobbly gifts. And now I'm just going to fill the shelves with them. So I'm just going to start off by filling these shelves right down here. And we will go from there. It actually looks like we might make a sale right now because this guy wants to buy an end times axe, which is definitely one of the axes that we're trying to get rid of. We have so many of them. Oh, it, it looks like he just sent the money. One sec, I'm going to review the footage and make sure that he actually did because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, yes, he did send 25k. So that is 25k in the bank. Now let's just go ahead and give this to this guy right here give him let's see interact with objects is it can he pick it up oh 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 he just picked it up awesome i'm just gonna quickly tell him not to drop the axe until he's reloaded because otherwise it'll claim as mine unless i keep him whitelisted which i don't really want to do so yeah that is 25k in the bank and now all that's left to do is put this final gift in this spot and hope that it doesn't glitch back to, <laughs> to where it was you know, this is a laggy server so I think I'm going to switch servers soon because this has been happening the entire time. It is the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> it takes forever to get it to actually stay. But yeah, once this gift actually stays where it should stay, right in this one spot that it just really doesn't want to stay, um, we will actually be done. Oh, 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 oh. It's staying. Okay, that is that done. Amazing. We got that one to finally stay. I've been working at that for like 10 minutes. That that one gift would not stay there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that is looking really, really good. So yeah, that is super awesome. Now we just have this empty space that we can put more items on. And then this shelf right here that is still empty. And then, of course, all of these shelves, which I still need to add a bunch to each of the sides of the building but yeah anyways the remaining gifts that we have are these dice gifts over here and then the book gifts and then we actually have a few blue steel axes which is super nice and then we have a bunch of pixelated gifts and then of course there is this massive mess of Thanksgiving items that we've just put to the side and we've had to build around when we built the wood warehouse and yeah it has just gotten so much worse we desperately need a spot for them so yeah we're going to actually put these on shelves soon but yeah that'll have to happen in a different server oh my gosh there is a ton of these gifts that just glitched through the freaking floor because it's so laggy um i guess we can put these on the shelves as well oh my gosh oh my gosh what happened to the other one it must have glitched through the floor hold on one second yeah it's right here what the heck okay i'm switching servers 
All right, now that we're in an actually functioning server, let's go ahead and get all of these items on shelves as well. So we're gonna have to load the dice gifts into this truck, which is going to take a while for sure. Cause for some reason, at some point, the truck that was holding all of these dice gifts just decided to glitch out. And I don't know how it happened or why it happened, but it happened. Alrighty guys, this is the last gift and now the truckload is completely full, so let's take this over to the building and start putting them on shelves. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill these shelves over here with them and then of course we have these over here and then we might even have to put some up here if we run out of space, but that should be pretty sufficient. I guess we could extend the shelves out here this way if we wanted. Okay guys, we have officially run out of shelves. We still have some more dice gifts as well, which means I think I'm going to go ahead and expand this shelf over here just because we do have space for it. So yeah, I'll just quickly build out a new shelf and that should be enough for the remaining dice gifts. Hopefully I'll cross my fingers. And we're actually out of wood, so I just put a piece up in the lumber yard and that is cutting so while we're waiting we're just going to get all of these up there so that they're right next to the shelf so once it's built I can just put them right onto the shelves alrighty guys the shelf is now built so now we're just going to put the rest of the dice gifts over here and fill the shelf and this is the final dice gift just like that we have finished storing away all of the dice gifts as you can see we got all of the dice gifts up here and then a bunch down here and yeah that is pretty much the first floor of the item storage complete at least in terms of storage I know there's a little still a little bit more to figure out about the conveyors and stuff like that and this walkway we need to make this look nice right here but yeah for now this is pretty much the entire first floor of the building complete we have got it all finished and yeah it looks like dealing with all of the Thanksgiving items and these remaining pixelated gifts is gonna have to wait until next episode because it is looking like we are out of time for this episode but yeah, those are gonna go up into these shelves and we're gonna have to make some special shelves for these pixelated gifts and the cornucopias and also these axes right here but yeah that is pretty much it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching this video it has been a blast and of course we got a ton of progress done it is so nice to actually be getting some of this done because as you know i've been saying for forever that we need an item storage and it is finally coming together but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!